and do and then do one the other way. Just as a little check-in. I think that you know, she, she knows that, you know, <laughs> is it good? And then come out of it. Now go back on your big left circle, and then go back to work. And now go to when you're ready, then go to trot. But you know, like I said, since you've trained that into her and she knows it, you use that as a little tool to say, you know, hello, I'm here. <laughs> And, and put you in a better place to kind of be able to ride both both sides of her, right? Yeah. Good job. Make a jut from the big left circle, go in a, in a big right circle, and just a big figure eight, so you make the change of direction in the trot once. Good. Staying really upright, right leg to left rein. Ultimately, she stays as round to the right as she does to the left. There, good, good. And then change back over to the other circle. When she pulls down a little bit more than you like, obviously you got to stay strong in your back and that little bit over the hind leg. And then this time at the center line, walk, walk right into your little figure eight, but don't necessarily take it, keep her a little bit more on the bit, so to speak, in this one. Ride your little figure eight in the walk and add a little more kind of yielding from the leg. So little figure eight, like little, little circle, and, and is there a little yielding from the right leg? Like, you can make a little hint and turn on the forehand. And then come back out of it. Now come back on the big big left circle. And ideally what I'm kind of looking for is then to go for the trot, the, uh, the canter that we have, you know, the feeling that you get something from the right hind leg, right? And then have the shape of your circle and that you don't wait too long from that to have a little better connection and feel to go to the canter before she's kind of used up. Now she's and poop in the middle of it. Oh. <laughs> I've got evidence. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Got my pony for a walk. I'm going to come back and watch. Yeah, exactly. Even in the trot, you can get that right hind leg, keep the left hand down. So it's not necessarily about bending the neck more in this part yet. It stays a little better in front of that right leg, and that's going to help you when you go back to the left circle to get the left canter. Good. And if you want to do the transition again, you know, while, again, before she's kind of used up, then do it so you get a little happier about the transition now that you made her do it once is great you just got to go and then you set it up and you say hey i can go again yeah all right and what you could you could go like a, a couple strides straight and then turn so okay. you're not you know forever on the circle while you have the bigger ring not so that it's a way to kind of elongate the circle like a few steps then you turn across good good and then again go a little bit and over here go straight and you can kind of decide how far you go but it's a nice way to kind of get to the place where you finally can go kind of braver down the long side, so to speak. And I know you said your ring is short, but it's just thought out here, take advantage a little bit that you've got the bigger ring. Go there. But now that you're out, oh, your outdoor is big, yeah. But that idea that I think for a young horse, that's a nice way because you feel safe on the circle, right? right? <laughs> that you need the circle a little bit, right? But now to venture off the circle rather than just saying, oh, I'm just now going to go around the whole arena, go whatever three strides, six strides, you know, elongate it as, as you can, and then you turn across again. That's a, a nice way to kind of invite that, get to that place where they get the confidence to keep the balance and, and the canter on the straight line. All right, good, good job, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good. Now look for your turn, that's fine, good. I think our ring's the same as this. Yep. 20 by 60? Yep. Yep. Good job. But anyway, to me, I mean, there's not a whole lot, like I said, I mean, I can't give you a whole lot of input. You're doing a great job. And with a four-year-old, we can only do so many things. But to me, those are little things that you can add to it, you know, get it in there, that progression to get a better transition. 
you know, I think you're on the right track. Like you said, the first transition, well, it's kind of sticky, but you made her do it, which yeah. I think is important, you know, and then, okay, then I'm not going to can her a long time. So you have, again, kind of a, a, a quarter left in the tank where you can try it another time or two and get the transition better. And then there, each one to get, you got closer to a, a nice place. Yeah. And then, this is a lot better. Too. And then just trying to bring her, like I said, that, if, that, if that helps you a little bit, just to say, now I'm going to get off the circle for whatever we can handle, yep. you know. <laughs> to the point and you, you know where her breaking point is you know how long i have some steering <laughs> right 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 that was pretty good yeah that's only the second time we've seen her streamline oh okay well then that was good she did it she did it well a big day for her big day good girl i think she's i think she's cooked yeah. <laughs>